Hello, church family. I am Pastor Troy, and I'm here with another update at the Evangelical Bible Church of Dallas, Oregon. I know a lot of you are wondering what is going to be happening in the future here at our church, how we meet, how we do ministry, and there's a lot of unknowns with uh, all the different information coming out. What phase are we in? What rights do we have as a church? And I also know in the middle of all this that our church body has a variety of responses based on the different apprehensions and expectations of our church membership. So the leadership team is working really hard. We're praying, we're seeking God's will in this time, but we're also seeking input from you as we want to minister to you in the best way possible. So as we consider uh, what ministry might look like as we try to begin to take steps to head back to normal, the first thing we need from you is to help us out by completing a survey. This survey asks a number of different questions on your comfort level, um, on what, what would be work well for you as we return to ministry or begin to take those steps to return to ministry and to make plans to do so. So you can access a survey and help us out in a number of different ways. First of all, uh, we sent it out by email to those we had on our email lists, and you may already have received uh, the said survey, in which case we ask you to fill it out just one time uh, per email address or per household would be great. Uh, we just want to get a feel for all the different households in our church. You can also access the survey on our church website. On the bottom right hand side of our, our front page under latest news, you'll see a link to the survey. And then also it will be included in this week's digital bulletin. So if you receive our digital bulletin, uh, you can also link directly to the survey and give us the information. We'll be compiling this information here for the next week or so, and that will really help us as we try and put together a good plan with the needs and expectations of our church body. Um, in the meantime, I wanna thank you so much for um, being patient during this time. We thank you for those of you who are able to continue with us on Sunday mornings. Uh, your comments and even just letting us know that you're there and watching are just, are just such an encouragement. Uh, we thank you for praying for one another, for reaching out to one another, and for continuing to give and support the ministries um, of the church body. We know, we know those are difficult, difficult times, and it's not how anyone wants it to be. Please continue to show grace and patience with one another. Um, be, be considerate and be patient with those who have different perspectives on how people and churches should respond to this current um, situation. Not all of us will have the same opinion. And those op our opinions may be based on different aspects of information we've gathered, on our own personal risk, on, on how we're considering how it's affecting our nation, how we are reading uh, biblical principles um, into this situation. We don't all have to agree, but we do need to respect one another and we need to treat each other with grace and with kindness as we work together. Um, keep in mind, not everyone's gonna have the same response. Not everyone's life situation is exactly the same. Uh, so pray for the unity of the church, pray for your own spirit as you move forward that we would be um, seeking, seeking one another's best and just love for one another in this situation. All right, that's it. That's what I've got for today. Please complete that survey. It would be very, very helpful. We want to do what's best for you. Uh, we love you guys, and we'll talk to you soon.